when you look within a human tumor of virtually any type, using virtually any technology, there is a lot of heterogeneity, meaning that the cells aren't uniform, but um, they have all kinds of different genetic characteristics, different molecular characteristics, just even as in terms of cellular appearance, you can often find different patches within a tumor that look different. And that heterogeneity is thought to contribute to uh, tumor recurrence and to resistance to therapy. Um, it's been shown by many different studies that there are different things that contribute to this heterogeneity. Um, uh, some of those cells within a tumor um, are uh, actually on their way to dying. They're pre-apoptotic. Uh, and those presumably won't cause problems in the future. Uh, other cells are in a so-called senescent state. Uh, and, and again, senescent cells don't proliferate, and so those presumably shouldn't cause problems. But in the case of drug uh, sleeping cells or these drug tolerant cells, um, we think that this is a reversible state uh, whereby cells can go into a state um, uh, which is either slowly cycling or, uh, or resistant to therapy, uh, and they can reversibly come out of that state. And so um, that ha understanding th those kinds of phenomena might potentially have a very large impact on how we understand the dynamics of tumor growth and particularly sustained drug responses over time.